Patrick. She was there to celebrate her birthday. Instead, she's been now in the hospital for two days. Her burger came with cheese, onions, and she says something no one would ever order. A few bites in at the Hooters on Gandhi Boulevard in Tampa, Naz Emanova starts to panic. You, you feel it on your throat? Huh? Her husband, Ibrahim, zooms in on a piece of wire. As Naz says, she thinks she already swallowed some of it. Yeah, let me go get some. She spoke to us from her hospital bed two days later at Tampa General Hospital, where x-rays showed a small piece of metal. I really uh, thought about myself, of course, but then I looked at the, uh, at the restaurant. There, there were so many uh, kids, children. They, they were so happy. They were eating. I thought, oh, my God. A manager comes to their table to apologize. I think one of them is stuck in the throat. I ate one. What, what is this here in the group? The manager offers to call 911 and writes this report saying, quote, a customer bit into a burger that had a wire from one of our utensils. Heavy duty. Could be from a fry basket or bun toaster. Hooters released a statement to us saying, we are aware of the incident. We have initiated an internal investigation. Food and guest safety are the number one priority for us, as it has been for the past 36 years. Restaurants have to be responsible. Doctors at TGH are concerned about internal bleeding and infection, and they're keeping her for observation until the threat passes. Her husband and parents are beside themselves. And they are crying. They are calling me. Uh, that was uh, so bad, uh, so bad for me. They're speaking out to make others aware. At home, you know what you are preparing. But outside, you trust those people. Everything can change in your life in one moment. Hooters wrote on their report that they now had possession of the piece of what they said was stainless steel wire. It is unclear as to how long she's going to have to stay in the hospital or if she's going to need surgery, Mark.